Hello again everybody and welcome to Fallout Part 4 Minimum AP Challenge You are discretion is advised I believe this is where we left off We got all of the operations done Now that said, uh, that's not going to help us very much Because we gotta keep in mind that our uh, AP is still at free Which is... You know, terrible. Either way, I have actually walked around and we do actually have the ability to heal ourselves. Here's how it works. We can use an item on our active inventory slot on ourselves and it disappears. So we can heal ourselves a grand total of once. The uh, main problem with that is the fact that we're going to have to get rid of either Super Swipe or, or Poyers, which we kind of need both for combat, so uh, yeah, healing's effectively out. Now, uh, you know, I, I think it is possible that I could take on the military base. The main problem is I don't think I have enough flares. That said, uh, we're going to be searching for flares. And uh, potentially training. I mean, let's see what else they have to do. I mean, I still have to deal with regulators. I mean, uh, let's see here. There's a death cause I could train in. They could take down Decker, and for those of you thinking that they should probably do the uh, quest involving Hightower, the main problem with that is uh, there's people that range us with uh, submachine guns, and they, they don't think we're going to be able to really take on burst weapons like that when there's just so much range. Although I could use flares against them, the main problem with that is I kind of need to save them for the end game. Regardless, we need to uh, pick up more flares, so if Kelly in here restocked, or any other vendor restocked, well, that's effectively what we're doing. Important. In the patch version, I'm pretty sure they do restock every uh, few months or so. And if they don't, then we're stuck with as many flares as they currently have, and that's going to be a problem. Because as we've already established, uh, we lose them pretty frequently because the uh, bodies just way on top of them. Uh, well, let's check in with the general store. Oh, uh, what's there? I think I still have the mouse, or don't I? Yes, I do. Uh, 
and again I can actually use something like Psycho because it increases the agility by one, which would give us an additional action point, and who would want them? Either way, it doesn't seem like they restocked, which is going to be problematic. Nope, that doesn't look like any. That is rather unfortunate. We could potentially try these guys again. The main problem with that being uh, the fact that I don't know whether or not uh, we'll be able to do this without flares. If I had checked, that would have been a terrible mistake to start the fight without a super sledge. No, it's here. Hey, okay, let's walk by the door and here we go. The main problem with that guy was the uh, guy gun. They've always blocked off from sliding from the other guys right behind them. But they ain't walk these guys will use their burst attack and take him down. Although possible, he's going to try running away. Why did he have so many stem packs? And we will return. Wonderful. Fight. 
That's exactly what I say, because we gotta keep in mind that we can't really take damage. Because if we get knocked down at all, we are effectively stun locked. We haven't really had uh, too big of a problem to this point, and that's mostly because uh, most of the things didn't have ranged attacks. Well, I could go after the guy with the shotgun again, but the main problem is uh, the rest of these guys can knock me down. And we've already established it's terrible. What would be ideal is if one of them actually had one of the uh, guards or someone else so the guards will actually come and take them out, but... I forgot the lamppost was there. The main uh, strategy was just going to go inside the building and hope they follow me. I thought, did one of them run away? I think one of them ran. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure I'll probably be dealing with the cathedral uh, first, and that's mostly because the uh, vocation, because if we can't uh, manipulate where the enemy's going, we're pretty much dead. Because the military base just has wide hot hallways. Again, we know this is possible because they uh, did it a few episodes ago. Unfortunately, I couldn't actually keep that one because of the just because they was using too many flares. Typically, I wouldn't worry about it, but I don't know if they respond. They don't seem to. That blast another turn. Well, I'm gonna get rid of this one just because he has a burst weapon. Okay, that was a good head. Now, say if they actually hit each other, this wouldn't be so hard. This guy starts running, we won't have much more problems. Up oh, there's one. Okay, that guy starts running. And I think we can uh, potentially get this guy to fall us in the a uh, burst attack. Unfortunately, I didn't really do much to that guy.
we can cause this guy to run away, we're not going to have any problems at all outside of uh, potentially getting critically hit by a burst attack. Or that, that that's a problem. Problem is, he just has a huge amount of stim packs. Okay, we're going to need a new strategy. Um, super switch and. Super stem pack, just in case my health gets low, because that is pretty much what we got to work with. Crickle head off the bat. Two crickle heads off the bat. Wonderful. And you're probably not like the one with the uh, shotgun back. It's to decrease its accuracy. So it might hit the other one. Good one hit uh, one of them. This wouldn't be too bad. Now I need to make my way in the doorway so they get closer. What help if we stop getting critical hit? the turn. They didn't even use a super stem pack because they kept and got knocked down. Oh boy. Well, that's wonderful. Oh, well, we're still using flares in. As uh, terrible as this might be, it's really our own way up. Now, uh, let's hear. If I can disable that shotgun man's arm, we can uh, potentially do this. I think we crippled it. Now hopefully they don't go for burst, and if they do go to a burst, this uh, guy in front should take the damage, most of the damage. <laughs> eh, boy, knocked off. Well, that's the turn. Well, that's another turn. Wonderful. Again, if we uh, just keep getting knocked down, we're effectively stun locked. Avoid you. I, I really don't want to go too close to them because they got burst weapons. Unfortunately, I don't really have much of a choice. Well, 
This is the third turn I've lost. Wonderful. I can get them all to run away, we can actually do this. Now, the good thing about the guy with the shotgun running away is that I used two flares on him, so I should be able to uh, get them back. Ah, oh, boy, that was terrible. I just kept getting stun locked. It was... Awful, but I did it, so I guess we better save and uh, unlock this door. Oh, first try, too. That's good. Yeah, I did deal with two of them. I don't know why, I thought one of them and the other one ran away. I mean, not that it matters too much because they really don't uh, need a combat track. I make no mistake, a combat track gun is a pretty decent weapon, but the main problem is I can't actually use it. Now, I guess I could potentially chase these guys down, but the uh, main problem is I'm kind of too slow to do that. Either way, um, I guess I may as well deal with Decker, seeing as I mentioned them. And uh, after you saw what, how terrible that one fight went, and I seriously doubt we're going to be dealing with uh, anyone that isn't in close proximity. Which means that the entrance to the military base in particular is going to be terrible. I mean, technically speaking, I could, uh, I could infiltrate using a robe, but the main problem with that is, uh, we're still going to have to deal with all of them on the way out. Well, let's we'll deal with Decker. Yep. I wonder if he considers a flare weapon. Yes, he does. Certain merch, quite simple. Hunt down the merchant and his wife, it's standard pay. 500 caps to start, very nice. The merchant lives in the heights. And we grab our 500. And we're going to be going straight to the sheriff to deal with Decker. Because again, I don't think fighting uh, people with submachine guns and I think 14 millimeter pistols in a uh, large, in a large uh, building area is a really good idea. I mean, it worked pretty well here just because it was in close proximity, but the main problem is everything's gonna be everywhere and. Uh, I don't think traveling about 40 spaces to get to one side of the area to the other is going to be a good idea. So we'll just uh, back to the sheriff. Right, throwing knives. If he uh, actually used players. That would be more ideal. Now what's there? It looks like... 
Yeah, that's a spell chair wrong. I think about it. Oh, great, I got knocked down. Two critical hits in a row. What, that guy gets four attacks? Wow, that's not very fair. Oh, well, I just need to stay away from him then. It's a lot of critical hits. That guy get four hits. Unless it's just some obscure method weapon that they missed. It's either that or he's got 12 action points somehow. May as a uh, bonus H to H. Well, I can't have that, but it's either way. Boy, this is harder than I thought. It would help is that, uh, that one guy just didn't uh, rush everyone and do four attacks. Okay, he is obviously the biggest threat. He also gets two turns, that's nice. So as a start, that uh, gives him uh, at least six attacks to potentially knock me down. That's a wonderful start. Down. How many does that make for this video? As though they can is the biggest problem out of all of them. Even with hard and power armor, I'm having a lot of problems. Just because I'm only stuck to effectively attacking one target at a turn. I mean, yes, I could use flares, but the main problem with that is, unless I actually get a cripple, they aren't going to be too helpful, and if I, uh, And if I lose any of them, I won't have them for the end game, which I am sure I'll be needing as many as possible. Oh, wonderful. Lost another one.
All I need is one good critical hit. And this, and it seems like a lot of them are getting critical hits, but I don't, don't seem to be getting many. It's just supposed to hit the other guy. Like Decker's out of ammunition. Game's taken down. Assuming I can actually live, this wouldn't be that big a problem. That's the biggest problem. This one over there. Decker's dealt with. Now we have to uh... Oh, I see. They can actually surrender, huh? Oh, boy. That was uh, way worse than I thought. I mean, uh, it wasn't too bad after we dealt with Kane, but I wasn't aware that he could actually attack four times. I mean, let's see what he had. I mean, he had Spike Knuckles. So either he has a bonus H to H attack, he used some sort of chem, or... Which actually doesn't make sense because he does... It doesn't go past 10, and, uh... Just given 12 action points for no apparent reason. It actually makes him probably the strongest character in the game when it comes to action points. As uh, strong as human character, anyway. Death Cross still wins. I think. It's possible that uh, Death Cross attacks cost 4 AP. Seeing as I'm pretty sure they do 3. Either way, it uh, doesn't seem to actually be anything here, so I guess that's about it for Decker. And 1400 experience. Well, I can't complain about that, but uh, oh boy, that was a terrible fight. And now I got to deal with the regulators, who actually have even more powerful weaponry. Of course, I don't think any of them have the ability to uh, just hit four times the turn, but uh, I know that uh, at least one of them has a sniper rifle, one of them has a shotgun, uh, several of them I believe have 14 millimeter pistols, they think uh, some 10 millimeter submachine guns it is gonna be terrible. Again, if we get knocked down, we lose a turn, and there's not much we can really do about that.
And again, we do have a healing method. We effectively need to either get rid of our foyer or our super swords and uh, have, a, have a stem or super stem pack uh, in the active item slot to use it. And we gotta keep in mind we can only, unlike a foyer which replaces it, if there's another in the inventory, we do not. Uh, Get that with a stem pack or a super stem pack. Yeah, that's terrible. Either way, um, oh, wonderful. Well, I look like most of these are uh, melee users. Which is actually worse because if any of them knock us down, we're uh, pretty much stun locked. The best hope for gaining experience is uh, get to one shot them. Because again, we can't really chase them down. Because their only range attack is flare. See, that one went fine. Yeah, that's uh, going to be the same thing with uh, Super Mutants when we get near uh, Mariposa because I'm pretty sure that most of them are probably just going to try running away once they, uh, why didn't they use that? I don't know, this is the patch version, so I know they added uh, new encounters, but uh, maybe they didn't fix some of the AI properly. Yeah, that would have been way more challenging. And just four of them with hunting rifles. Uh, oh, and they run away too. Just four of them with hunting rifles would just be terrible. Anyway, what am I going to spend my access uh, points on? Honestly, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, theoretically, unarmed might actually be helpful because the power fest I don't think knocks the enemies back. The main problem with that is if I have a super swipe and a power fist, I won't be able to use a ranged attack because I'm stuck with flares, but... And the power fist actually has one less range than the super swedge, so I'm really not sure. Regardless, let's uh, hope that we actually can get some flares from this guy. Because, again, they're effectively the only ranged weapon we have. Why is he a cattle prod? Maybe they don't restock. I'm stuck with, what, 14 flares? 15. Regardless, I gotta save them for the end game because if I don't, I won't have any ranged attack. So, uh, yeah, that's terrible.
Well, they, they do seem to restock on that money, though. Yard with, so it's, uh, it gets regulators over with. Now we have to keep in mind that there are several people with 10 millimeter submachine guns. I'm pretty sure that uh, that guy has a shotgun. One of them has a sniper rifle. Uh, let's see. That one definitely has a 10 millimeter submachine gun. And we got to keep in mind that uh, because of no companion to roll, I got to deal with everything myself. You know, as of course, it's an instant thing because. Honest with you, I don't know uh, whether or not I could have actually fought Decker. I know that his uh, door is effectively locked. And if you try doing that against Gizmo, I know they effectively throw you out of Junktown. Just because uh, you're not supposed to just kill him without actually uh, bringing the evidence to the sheriff. So that's kind of forced on you too. So I don't know what else to do. Regardless, let's uh, talk to this lady. Kind of have to. Regardless, this is going to be awful. And we got... And really, the only uh, good thing I can think of is the location, because the main point is uh, most of them are going to be uh, trying to get into this building, and I should be able to just stand in uh, this corner and knock them over, but... The main problem is they will also be taking out uh, most of the other citizens. And the big problem with that is the fact that I, um, I can't actually get over there to help them. And even if I could, I don't have a ranged attack to do that. So, uh, yeah, that's problematic. He did give me the whole disc, right? Um. Oh no, it must be glitched. Well. Well, I guess I had to take out the regulators. Um, Starting to fight myself. Okay, well, I guess that's what we're doing. Okay, uh, I'm a bad crack old head. Take one down. Okay, that's not a bad start. Of course, it's not going to help us much because we had to keep in mind that... Uh, if anything knocks us down, we lose a turn. And we're going to get hit constantly by uh, effectively everything. If I got a crack old head, uh, this guy wouldn't last too long.
But then do I can funnel them into uh, this room if they actually choose to fall. And they're taking this one out, I'll step aside and let that guy come. By the only time the super switch is somewhat more useful than the power fist. With any luck, they'll actually run into this corner and they'll be able to corner them and take them down. To be fair, this is going uh, quite a bit better than I thought it'd be. Now, let's hear. Is no one else coming? Okay, there's Zimmerman. Need that for the military base. To be fair, this is not going as bad as I expected. Of course, that's mostly because everyone funneled into that room. Once I step out of here, it's going to be worse. Because here we go, we got to deal with one of these guys. I don't think that one's going to be too big of a problem because he has a shotgun. And then I know at which one of these guys have a sniper rifle. So if he just spines us and decides to try picking us off, there's not much we can do about that. Well, that one went better than expected. Yeah, I better use a stem pack before I forget. I mean, I know I have them. Unfortunately, I just uh, really don't have any reason to use them. Because I can't use them in combat. If I can lure them into this uh, corner, I can take them out. Uh 
I was going to say, I'm going to hope he's not just going to run back every time. What's wrong with some of these AI? They got, they actually have somewhat usable weapons and they don't use them. Regardless, we had to take on the uh, next one. I still haven't seen the one with the sniper rifle yet. If we can lure them into this tent, that'd be ideal. I'm probably going to be doing the cathedral first before the military base because the military base's entrance is just going to be terrible to deal with because we'll be dealing with uh, super mutants with laser rifles with a range of, I think, 45. And at least in the cathedral, they're... Uh, there's a lot of corridors blocking everything, so we can at least order on most of the characters over. Yeah, that one must have a sniper rifle. If he only had a uh, shotgun, he wouldn't bother attacking at that range. Okay, if we can uh, bring them over to this tent, we can uh, potentially get rid of them. I'm more concerned about the one with the sniper rifle at the moment. Oh, 55 damage. Okay, that works. this one can only attack once a turn and we could attack more that'd be more concerning okay I'll need to go to the inventory and heal because I'm starting to lose quite a bit of healthy health because of the critical hits they keep dealing now let's see your stim bags are the first thing on the list actually that's good Maximum weight capacity. Oh, while on the plus side, we get quite a few stem packs. And I really don't have any reason to pick up anything else outside of selling. Because again, that Super Sledge is pretty much what we got to work with. My main problem is if this guy decides to run off the map, I won't be able to deal with him. Well, that means I gotta use a flare and hope I can cripple its leg. Or knock him out. Hopefully I can get my players uh, back after that. You hit the dog. Oh, 
Can I get my flights back? seem like I can. Uh, how many do I have left? Twelve. I'm going to hope they restock because I am not seeming to uh, be able to get this back. Up oh, there we are. Maximum weight capacity, of course. Ah, oh, what's here? Oh, why do they know I can pick them up? Oh, right like there, they are one pound each. I mean, technically speaking, I, I could use a radio against that, the military base. Because, you see, the main problem why I want to try uh, getting through the sneaky way is mostly because of the uh, red alert. Because then if you uh, activate red alert at any time, uh, you will effectively get into the base and there's just this uh, enemy with a rocket launcher that just immediately shoots you. And that's not really a good idea to deal with. Either way... Uh, I don't actually see any more regulators. I don't think Smitty's a part of the regulators. I'm pretty sure they take him out. Um, let's see. There's one over there. I see one. Do I see any more? I don't think I do. Ah, there's another one over here. That's fine, if we can bring them to this tent, uh, we shouldn't have too many problems. Yep, there's free. As long as we don't get knocked down, we should be fine. Well, when it kill, that's fine. Of course not. Uh, again, we will lose a turn if we get knocked down at any point, so this is terrible. Again, really? She must be out of throwing that thing that she's uh, running up to us. Okay, I'd wait that one with a knockdown. That one's throwing knives are actually way worse than the sledgehammer seems to be. Okay, one more. It's probably the most annoying one we've dealt with so far. I'd say a cane. Because I, I I don't even know why they did that. I mean, they gave them the ability to attack four times a turn. It, it's awful. Oh, well, it waits this one can't uh, do that. more help you got. I don't even think she used any stim packs. Uh, 
I mean, who, who else is there that I haven't taken down yet? I mean, is there one in this area thing? Is there's, this is the patch version. I was gonna say, it looked like someone was stuck in the doorway. Regardless, um, I can't say I see anymore. Possibly this building, I don't think I checked it yet. No, it doesn't look like it. No, oh, it's fine, you got some... Oh, okay, well, that's, a, that's good. It lets you know through dialogue from the uh, NPCs. Well, I guess that's it for the regulators. Oh, well, at least I managed to keep all my flares, even though that fight was... Uh, very terrible. Not as bad as that the Decker fight, though. The Rough Raiders were also quite challenging. But it didn't really help much as they just kept correctly hitting us. Regardless, we dealt with Regulators, so we can uh, talk to Aura. I forget what her name is. And that's 500 experience. And we need 1,000 more experience. Hmm. You know, do... How about to finish this off, we uh, save and try to deal with a death claw. Now I'm just going to use stem packs because I can't actually use them in battle, so we may as well get that. Our health back. Try dealing with a death claw. Because if we can do that, we'll get another level. And at least more HP. That said, we need a, a scenario where it's only one death claw we're fighting. Because I don't think we're going to live past that more than one. That said, I think this looks fine. We'll uh, try it once. Okay, we just dealt with uh, the eyes of the death claw, so it should be missing more often. To be fair, we are doing quite uh, good for damage output, but the main problem is that uh, it's not going to help us if they knock us down. See, there we go. That's what we need to happen. Just grab all their eyes, hope they miss. 
And we get another wobble wop. Not that it matters too much. Because we uh, don't get another perk. And, uh, and wait till we get some more HP. I should mention that they respawn every uh, every hour you rest, I believe. But either way, I'm going to end this episode here. That being said, I hope everybody enjoyed this episode. We had always dealt with regulators and uh, Decker and the Rough Raiders. We still need to claim our reward for Jonathan, for saving Jonathan. Speaking of which, uh, I may as well increase unarmed with uh, some of the skill points they have because um, I really don't have much else to work with. Either way, I'll end this episode here. That being said, I hope everybody enjoyed it. So, everybody have a good day.